Aquariums have been around for hundreds of years. Even now, having a body of water in a glass box seems like magic. The most common aquarium fish is the goldfish, domesticated in China more than a thousand years ago. Goldfish are a type of carp native to Asia. They tend to be silver or gray in color. But ancient Chinese breeders took advantage of orange and yellow mutations to breed gold-colored fish. Like all fish, goldfish start life as eggs. To start the breeding process, a worker separates the males from the females. Telling the girls from the boys can be difficult, but if she finds eggs, there's no question, it must be female. The eggs fall to the bottom. This facility harvests around a thousand eggs a day. Adding oxygen helps the eggs mature. A week later, the eggs hatch. The hatchings are called fry. By the second week, they're little fish. Not all of them are the typical orange color. Even after centuries of breeding, many of them are still silver and gray. As the fry increase in size, workers transfer them from buckets to larger holding tanks. This facility sells fish at different stages of growth. Here, a worker selects a particular size to sell. Once the selection process is complete, she transfers the chosen fish to a bag for transportation. She adds air so the fish will have enough oxygen during transport. A worker tosses dry food into a series of ponds. Each pond is roughly a thousand square feet and holds about 500 fish. The food provides the nutrients needed for growth. A worker checks the fish tanks for signs of illness, such as parasites or fungus. He carefully portions out and adds a liquid known as methylene blue. It's an antifungal treatment. These one-year-old fish are a different type of carp known as koi. Koi were first bred in Japan for their color and pattern variations. A worker isolates a quantity of koi with a specially designed shallow net. This allows her to select the right sized fish to bag for sale. The bagged fish await transport to the market. It's time to prepare the bags of goldfish for shipping. A worker empties a batch of them into a netting suspended in water. A team of workers sort through the goldfish. They select the fish that meet the size criteria and use spoons to transfer them to a bucket. To prepare the fish for shipment, workers dip them in a green solution. They then rinse them in clear water before bagging them again. The green solution contains a specially calibrated medication that helps reduce stress during transport. Next, a worker adds air to the bag, ensuring the fish have plenty of oxygen while en route. The fish have been double bagged for protection. A second worker squeezes out some of the oxygen so the bag won't take up too much room, then seals the top of both layers.